Get over here. Let me capture you. Hello everybody, welcome back to Life is Strange, right? We don't go to the bench, we're going to the lighthouse. Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Oh, why is there no subtitles? Should there not be subtitles? Language and subtitles. There are subtitles. Okay. You have to die. I'm assuming we're going over here. Um Maybe not. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. So we're supposed to do I have to reach the lighthouse. We're at the friggin' lighthouse. What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor. Are we supposed to sit at the bench? Life. Let's have a look. Now it's snowing. <clears throat> Made in Taiwan. In a bloody snow globe. Jesus, which is a bit of plasticine. I knew it. That's why we keep seeing the bloody squirrels. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom is away, I'll let her know that. I can't actually get up. Don't go, William. I actually do go. Otherwise. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're I'm not there. Work at the two wins. I'm not there. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. I can't get up at all. Now Nothing for me to look at. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the safe mart. She don't have many bags of delicious growth for us you to You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college bond? Please forgive me. Ah. Don't hide the keys. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max. Okay, hey Max, would you say hi oh, to Chloe and Joyce? Don't forget to remind them that you let me die. <laughs> Dad! Okay. This game is getting really weird. Now where are we? How long will this nightmare go on? Why aren't we wearing trousers? Just what has he been doing to us? I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Okay. Max is a fucking child. Oh, Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Holy shit, Warren. Max is trying to play us both. I guess she's not as innocent as she acts. Not when she's trying to hook up with both of us. I only want to go ape with you, Chloe. Come here. Okay. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh, shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shock a bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. Okay. Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. 
Rachel's dead and you're still alive? Life is so not fair. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. This is getting very, very weird. Well, as soon as I grab my drink, I can actually move. Can I move? Yeah, I can. What we? What am I supposed to be doing? Keep at. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. Anything in here? No, just this keypad. Use. What? One. Five, six, eight, one. Great. Numbers are all over the place. How will I find the right code? Um. Five. Six, eight, one. Eight, three, seven. Was it nine? Or was it one? Okay. Eight, three, seven, eight. Well, not even a seven, was it? Eight, three, nine, one. Eight, three, nine. Let's copy eight, three, one. Oh, blah, blah. Eight three nine one. Okay, six five two one. Six five two one. Nope. Six eight nine eight. Six. Oh no! Fuck's sake. Why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? I don't know what she just said. Then six. Eight nine eight was it? Nine four double three. Okay, I have no idea what the friggin' number is. <clears throat> is it pretty obvious and I'm just being a bit dumb? It could be anything. Is there any numbers written on my shirt? No. Numbers on my face. Oh my god, they're all over the friggin' ceiling as well. What about all the noughts? No? Nine. Just hitting anything now. See if she says anything. What the hell is wrong with this mirror? What the hell is wrong with this mirror? Nothing's wrong with the mirror, is it? Oh, there's no numbers. Oh, here you go. 11.30. Okay. Zero three one one. Well done. Got there in the end. Don't kill us, Max. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. <laughs> right when I was about to start a new life in California. We didn't kill any of you. Look, I know things were bad between us, but that doesn't I can't mean I deserve you to die. Me. So this is how Max I gets you know I haven't so been the best for a squirrel guy. Here I am. We'll have to go without me. Who are you? Holy shit, are you serial? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I try to help. I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. I do care. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. 
by telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends, and I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? You are? We all are. This isn't about Chloe. Or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. Um. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. Okay. Um, I have to go back to the White House, I assume. We shall try and do that in the next episode, though. Thank you all very much for watching. Until then, this is Red Fox, signing out.